I'm giving you a quick walkthrough of PubSub Plus Event Portal, where I'll show you how easy it is to create an application domain with two applications, one event, and a schema. Once you've signed up for a PubSub Plus a cloud account, you land here at the console landing page, which is where you access all the services available through PubSub Plus Cloud. The free trial account gives you access to free event management and event streaming services. Today, this video will be focusing on Event Portal. Now you can see that you can click on Designer, Catalog, Discovery, or Event API Products. These are the four components of Event Portal. We'll be spending most of our time with Designer. The catalog is great for browsing for any existing events, schemas, and applications already in the system. Discovery allows you to discover and visualize events from your brokers and import them into designer and catalog so that you don't have to start from scratch. We provide step-by-step -step guidance on how to do that within this discovery tile. Event API products allows you to select existing events and bundle them into an event API product that then can be shared with others, either internally or external to your organization, so that they can reuse the data flows or streams for their own applications. In this case, I have one event API product for a ride sharing use case, and it consists of two events that I've released and shared with a different organization. And I shared it through this URL that was published. And they can use this to access the Event API's Async API specification. Now let's get started with Designer. You can see that I have an existing Acme Rideshare app domain, which consists of five applications, eight events, and six schemas. However, I want to create our own new app domain. We'll call it Retailer Demo. Specifying the topic domain defines the beginnings part of the topics for all the events subsequently created as part of this application domain. In our example, we'll call it retailer slash products. We'll give it a simple description to explain to others what this application domain consists of. Press save. Now let's create an application. We'll call it product catalog. We'll give it a description. For application type, uh, you have the option of selecting a Kafka con connector if that's what you want to model or leaving a standard, which is what I'm doing. You automatically get um, assigned as owner of this application, or you can assign others. I can add a tag to make it easier to find. And at this point, I can either press save and continue with my application, or I can uh, create my event from the screen by selecting Manage. Here I can uh, create an event. We'll call this Product Added Event. We'll allow it to be shared across application domains, give it a business level description. We need to select the Logical Event Mesh, or LEM, that this event will be published to and available for other applications to subscribe to. So for PubSub Plus brokers, this LEM is really a message VPN or a set of message VPNs connected to each other via a dynamic message routing. For Kafka brokers, the LEM would represent a Kafka broker cluster. So we'll select for this demo the, the default event mesh. Now we need to select to set the topic address. And you can build it yourself or use the tips provided by the tool 
uh, to help you do it. So I'm going to let the tool help me out and select auto create these levels. Um, you can see that it's already pre-populated then to, um, to uh, show retailer products. We can add a variable representing a product ID. and press create and there's the variable and now uh, we can set and return to event if you do need help with topic naming uh, you should check out our best practice guidelines and docs and i will show you how to get to docs uh, a little bit later at this point we can add a schema and we can choose to create a new one or uh, use an existing schema i'm going to create one I'm going to call it product schema. I'm choosing the JSON format. I'm going to share it across domain application domains. I'm going to give it a simple business description. I will allow for multiple uh, versions of this schema. And now I can either uh, import the schema from a file or I can paste it in which is what I'm going to do. So see, so see there, my, my schema is showing up. I'm going to press save. Now I'm back to the product catalog application screen, press save. And I can see the new product added event in the list. I want to tell the application to publish this event by selecting the publication icon. And you see that it's been added uh, to the events published area. I press save. And now we're back in the graph view. And you can see that the publisher app is publishing the product added event. So you've got product catalog publishing product added event. Now I need an app that subscribes to this event. So I can actually just clone product catalog. I'm going to call it order management system. I'm going to edit the application description to say that it's an application that uh, subscribes to order status events. I'm going to leave it as standard, same tags. I want this to uh, subscribe to the event as opposed to publish the event. So I'm going to go to manage. Uh, I see the event right there. I could always search for it if I had many events here, but I, ha I see it, so I go I'm going to subscribe to it. There it is, been populated and I press save. So we're back in the graph view and you can visualize your two applications and how the product added event is used between the two applications. Now, if you want to generate some skeleton code for the event API for the app, what you do is you right click on the product catalog app, download link async API, Select your preferred file format, which is JSON in my case. And uh, now you can input this into a code generator to generate the broker API code for an app. And that was it. It wasn't, it was pretty easy, wasn't it? Now you can get a lot more help by clicking the question mark here on the left side. Um, you have access to event portal sample files. You've got the Acme Rideshare uh, app. You can also, before you even start, do the PubSub Plus Cloud Quick Start, which has this video and other videos for our event streaming services. And as mentioned earlier, we also have Pub. PubSub Plus Cloud Docs, which is a very useful tool. Uh, it's the Bible on how to do anything. And uh, you can also access the Solace developer community to see what topics are being discussed. And please uh, join the community. 
and, uh, and contribute to it. Or you can chat with us live. Whichever option suits you and how you like to work, we've got it. Last thing I want to show you is how to invite one of your colleagues to join you in the event portal. So go to the person icon here. Go to uh, account details. In user management, you can basically um, invite anybody. You type in their e email address. You can select, uh, for example, for event portal, what kind of role you want to give them, whether it's manager, user, etc. And then you can uh, invite the person to join you so that you guys can uh, collaborate together. So this concludes the demo. I hope you find it useful to get started with Event Portal. So give it a try and, uh, and, and start your free trial.